All right, how's everybody doing today? Uh, my name is Frank Bunn, and we're going to talk about how do you achieve big expectancy. And um, you know, one of the things I hate about the the trading education business is that you know it's all these nebulous ideas about entries and trades and where you get in. But there there has to be a structural basis for whatever you're doing so that you can repeat the process over and over again and get consistent. That's how it, it, it works. So by big expectancy, what we're talking about, um, so we want to establish, you have to begin with the end in mind. And that's what's really, really crucial about this. So big expectancy has everything to do with risk games and, and how we play them. So what we want to do is we want to establish a context where our risk let's say our risk is going to be fixed. Okay. So our risk is going to be equal to what we're going to call one X. All right. So if we're taking a look then at, at the bigger picture here, so we're going to risk one X, but what we want to achieve it for our goal is going to be five to 10 times that, that risk. So in any risk game, we have to have a positive skew. If we have a negative skew, then over time, we're going to lose more than we win. It won't work. So what we're trying to do is establish one R, one risk, five to 10. Now, how do you do that? Um, it's not like you can buy a stock and just because you buy it, it would make 10 R or 10 times risk. It doesn't work that way. It can't be random. It can't be arbitrary. How we do that is by establishing uh, the context for expectancy. Okay, so let's take a look at, at what that looks like now that you understand how to play a risk game. All right, the best way to do this is something called mean reversion. And so we begin with, um, with a, a mean of prices. So let's say that we have an established trend in price here. And we have a long-term mean. Okay, um, that mean is going to be, price will you know, move up and down above and below that mean and mean will draw price, um, and it's a way to it's a way to 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 characterize a trend for uh, in any given time interval, let's say. But the problem with long term means that people use the moving averages or moving averages of price as those. The problem with them is it's very difficult to measure. Price can make very wide deviations above and below that mean, makes it difficult to to make an assessment. But what 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 I do is so I take the a very long term mean of price okay so here's my here's my long term mean and I'm going to add a short term mean because now with short term mean if you look at a sample of any uh, like a shorter sample or a smaller sample of prices you get a much smaller deviation in price from one interval to the next so what we'll do is we'll take um, a short a very short mean to establish low risk entries within the long term mean okay so what this does is we're we're, go, we're going back to our our box of one times risk and then up here is five to ten times r so i can use that short term mean to establish this particular five to ten r in each circumstance here all right so it is a way of filtering my context so that each time I do this, I can achieve the expectancy that I want. That is risking one R with five to 10 R. That way I know that it's possible. Okay, so context is, 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 quite, uh, is quite varied. And you know, there's a lot of different um, ways to, to, uh, to look at that. But if I'm talking about an extremely long-term trend, I could take early cycle entries in that short term trend and achieve my, my, my R game. So over time, let's say of, let's say I'm looking at 20 samples. Okay. So what I'm trying to do with my, my objective there is at least like 60, 70% of the time, I should be able to, to hit somewhere, get to break even and somewhere in that five to 10 R range. All right. So that's something that can be absolutely measured and quantified. It's not that difficult to do. 
But in this industry, if you're just talking about like, well, here's the trend or here's the pattern, uh, this is what I'm going to trade, and they have no, there's no statistical basis for what they're doing, it's going to be very difficult uh, to get big expectancy in your samples. Uh, so think about that as you, uh, as you, you learn the game. Master big expectancy and master, master a risk game where you're consistently achieving five to ten times your risk, and long term it's an easy way to, to win the game. All right, that does it for today. Think about big expectancy when you're talking about your positions, and you'll be ahead of the game. Have a good day.